Hello from Arizona. My name's Cal, and I want to welcome you to the Tough Trails DIY series. Let's get her going. All right, so shortly after we published the video on how to make a four door uh, bumper, JL bumper bolt on kit for the four door, we were contacted by a viewer uh, out of Kansas uh, by the name of Dwayne Perry. And Mr. Perry asked us if we would be able to come up with some kind of design so that we could, or that he could, mount the JL bumper onto his two-door uh, geo tracker, his 98 two-door geo tracker. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to design a, a bolt-on system or a mounting system for the JL bumper to put it on your geo tracker Suzuki sidekick. Okay? All right, let's get her started. Okay, so this is kind of how this is going to look or how it's going to work. So these ears that we made are going to mount to your bumper. Okay, this hardware is going to come with your bumper. Okay, this is a 3x2 piece of angle iron. Okay, 2x2 two two square tubing that is 8 inches long. That's going to give you 6 inches of space to mount a winch on your winch plate. Okay, this is the horn. All right, guys, so here we are, back at the vise. Seem to find ourselves a device a lot lately. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we are going to make a bolt-on version for the JL JK bumper kit, but we're going to make this bolt-on version for the two-door. Okay, so this is going to be a two-door version. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this right here in two pieces, two eight-inch pieces, and then we're going to measure back and cut out uh, three quarters or inch and three quarters on two sides. Two sides would be cut back inch and three quarters. Okay? All right, cool. All right, guys. So there's the two eight inch pieces right there. Those are your horn extensions. Okay. And what we're going to do next is we're going to cut the, the horn itself, our imitation horn or whatever, our version of the horn, a mounting horn. Okay, and we're going to cut that out of, let's go right there, there we go, uh, inch and three quarters. So this is inch and three quarters. We're going to cut two five inch pieces, okay, two five inch lengths. All right, cool. Okay, so there we go. We have two eight inch horn extensions or frame extensions out of two by two square tubing, eighth inch wall. Next to that is two horns that we're making for ourselves, and they are inch and three quarter square tubing eighth inch wall thickness okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to make the ears that go onto the bumper okay and that's right here okay so we're going to do one two there's actually three and four four inch pieces of two by two eight inch wall okay four pieces, two by two, eight inch wall. And what they do is they're gonna go here, okay? So we need four of them, okay? All right, cool. All right, guys, just to uh, summarize here, these are the components that you're gonna need to make your uh, do-it-yourself bolt-on kit for the two-door uh, model to put the JK or JL bumper on it, okay? You have two eight inch lengths of two by two square tubing, you have two five inch lengths of inch and a quarter, inch and three quarters uh, square tubing. Its uh, wall diameter is one eighth inch. The two by two wall diameter is also eighth inch. And then you have four ears that are two inch angle iron, basically. And then you have two ear extensions, which are one, e one inch flat bar because I don't have two by three square tubing. So I'm going to, I need that piece to be three inches on one of them. Okay. But that's it. So now we're going to do some cuts, make some modifying, drill a whole bunch of holes and go find us some hardware. Okay, cool. All right. So what we're doing next is we're measured back an inch and three quarters, inch and three quarters. And we're going to do a notch out like this. See it? Both sides. Okay. These are your eight inch horns right here, your frame extensions, horn extensions, <clears throat> and we're notching out inch and three quarters. Okay, that's what we're doing next. All right, cool. All right, guys, just want to catch up before we lose you. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're 
drilling our holes. This is where our bolts are going to go. Okay. <clears throat> this end is going next to the bumper. This is going to go on the flanges that we made the, on the two by two, on the two by two um, angle iron. And then this is the inch and three quarter. See it here. This is inch and three quarter. Now this is going to have a bunch of holes in it, and they're going to be one inch apart. As you can see here, this hole is one inch apart. Okay. And what's going to happen is this right here is going to this right this right here is going to become your horn. Okay. Um, sidekick, the two door sidekick. And then it's basically it's going to allow you to slide and adjust your height as you need it. Okay, see how that works. So this will become this is going to become your horn because you know the, the two door doesn't have a horn, so we're going to make a horn for it. And that's what this is. So this is the horn that we're making. This is going to be bolted to the front of the Suzuki of two door or tractor doesn't matter. Okay, and that's going to become stationary. And then this right here. It's going to have the bolts in it one inch apart, one inch apart. This right here will have bolts in it drilled one inch apart so that you can adjust up and down for whether you have a body lift or you don't have a body lift or a two-inch body lift or a three-inch body lift or any of that kind of stuff. And then right here, we're just beginning these holes as well. And these are going to be mounted to the two-by-two two angle iron that's going to be mounted to the bumper, okay? So that's how they connect, okay? This goes to the Suzuki. This goes to this. And... The rest of it goes to that. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so let's see if we can kind of give you a little update here. Okay, so basically, this is your horn. This is eight inches long. This is going to give you about six inches to mount a, a winch on your bumper. Okay, so if you have a larger winch that you're going to try to put on um, and you need, you know, say more, uh, more space, then you need to make this. Uh, extension this horn extension longer another two inches maybe so this is eight inches right here make it ten inches and that would give you a eight inch platform to mount to and you could pretty much get a big bumper a big winch on that okay so uh, we don't on geo tractors and stuff we don't really put the big winches on there's no point in it you're just gonna tear a bumper off or you know you, you can't pull anything that big anyway it's just gonna drag your geo tractor towards whatever you're trying to pull so anyway um, that's how you determine how much space you're going to need to mount your winch. So this is eight inches from here to here, eight inches, and that's going to give you six inches of, of a mounting spot. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of winches that you can grab that are, that are mount up with that space. Okay, now here's what we're doing is this is our horn. Okay, remember the two door does not have a horn on it like the four door does. So the two door is different. So what we're doing to compensate for that is we're going to make our own horn. Okay. So here's our horn. It's five inches is what it is because that's really all room that you have. You have to make it adjustable because we don't know if you have a body lift or you don't have a body lift. So this is going to go up and down. And the way I did that to make sure it works is you start at the top position right there, right like that. And then you hold, you keep that in that position and you drill the next hole. And when it's time to drill the next hole, you just go up and then you drill the next hole. And that way they'll all be in line. And that's how you do it. Okay. I can't find the hole. Just like that, all the way through, and then you'll have an adjustment. You need to make two of these and two of these, one for each side, and that's how we make it. This is your horn. So this is the horn that we made right here, okay? So this is the horn that we made. This is the extension that we made. This is eight inches long, and then we're going to hook it to the ears. The ears are just two by two, uh, well, one piece of two by two angle iron and another piece of two by three angle iron, and that's going to make your ears, and then your bumper is going to bolt onto your ears. Your ears are going to bolt on to your uh, extension, and uh, your extension, of course, is going to be adjusted where you need it right here on your horn. Okay? All right. Quiet on the set. All right, guys. So these are your pieces right here. This is the components of the kit. You know, you get a 2 by 3 inch piece of angle iron, 4 inches, 2 by 2 piece of angle iron, 4 inches, with their holes drilled in them. And then you have your uh, frame extension, which is this right here, which is eight inches, which is going to give you just about six inches of room on your bumper to mount a winch. So if you need a bigger winch uh, footprint than six inches and you need something bigger, you're going to change it here. OK, so this is eight inches. Maybe you need a 10 inch piece and that will give you eight inches of room to uh, do your uh, winch mount. OK, and then this is the critical part. This is the part that's different from the four door. In fact, this is the only part that's different from the four door. 
This is the horn. The four-door has a horn on it, okay? So this horn is a one and three-quarter by one and three-quarter square tubing, okay? With one inch, one eighth-inch wall thickness, okay? Everything is one eighth-inch wall thickness, okay? That's good strength. It's pretty common. You can find it easy. It's not super expensive, okay? And that this is a two by two. Uh, this is a two by two square tubing here. This is what this is made out of. This is your frame extension right there, okay? But what you're going to need to do is you can see I drilled all these holes. These holes here are one inch apart, so you can make adjustments up or down, okay? This mounts to your this mounts to your Geo Tracker Suki Sidekick two door in the front, okay? You can drill holes through here and run long bolts. I mean long bolts uh, through that. Uh, through the end of that frame there's a there's a mounting uh, there's a support block at the end of your frame and it, it holds up your radiator core and those kinds of things your support systems right there fenders headlights those kinds of things okay so you can drill through there but if you don't have a body lift on it it's going to be held to, to, to do that i highly recommend you get it welded have somebody weld it if you don't have a welder or you can't weld take it somewhere talk to somebody figure something out get that welded you're going to be a lot happier with that and you can have less frustration, okay? But anyway, this mounts to the, the vehicle. Uh, it's either bolted or welded, ideally welded. So you can weld on the top, the bottom, both sides. It's going to be very, very secure. That stays there. And then what you can do, based on whether or not you have a body lift or not, you can adjust your bumper up or down with these adjustments right here, which are one-inch adjustments, okay? Get it as close as you can. And then the part that you have to do, that you have to drill, is here you can see here at the bottom we have these holes okay on both sides okay and that's going to mount to your ears these are the ears the ears is what your bumper mounts to these do not come in the package you get all your hardware your nuts and bolts but you're not getting these ears so you got to make those ears okay so what happens is once you find it it's perfect and you have your your line the way you determine that is the distance between the top of this not this part this part the top of this and your grill. So is it a half an inch? Is it a quarter inch? Is it one inch? Where do you want that to be at? Okay. So you position that and you find that out during mock-up. So during mock-up, what you're going to do is once you decide where that's going to be at, and then you're going to put this in between the ears up or down wherever you need it. And wherever you need it at, you're going to stop and then you're going to drill the holes. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take off one of the ears and you're going to run, say, like I have here, you see that Q-tip right there? So you're going to take off one of these ears. I'm doing this one hand, guys. You're going to take off one of these ears. You're going to put a little paint on the end of that Q-tip. You're going to run it through that hole and see where it lines up on this ear. Okay? And then you're going to take it off, take this ear off, and you're going to drill it. And then once that's drilled in on there, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to run the Q-tip the other way and mark a hole on the other side and drill it. And that way you'll have a perfect position that you need for your particular application, whether you have no body lift, a two-inch body lift, a one-inch body lift, or a three-inch body lift. Okay? And this is adjustable up to three inches, okay? And that's how it's going to work, all right? So I hope I explained that to you right. Um, if not, we'll figure something out, okay? All right, cool. All right, so if you can see this, <clears throat> so we just cut this piece out. Remember, we welded a one-inch flat bar to this two-by-two because two, I needed really three inches here. So I got three inches, I got two inches. I measured and got the bolts. This one right here is one yeah one no two and a quarter two and a quarter on center from the edge right here two and a quarter and this right here is two and three sixteenths so it's, a, it's another sixteenth offset right there so now what i need to do is i need to mark these holes and of course i don't have a a marker or a pen or a punch that's going to fit through there so this is how i'm going to do it i put some white paint in here on my little Q-tippy thing here. And I'm going to go through this and right through that other hole. There we go. Can you see in there what I'm doing? There we go. So I'm marking that hole right there. And I'm swishing it around so that I can find the center myself. Okay? I'm going to do that on the next one. I'll do it right now. So, dip my Q-tip. come through I'm sorry guys I gotta see too there we go so I think we're in there I don't know if you can see in the bottom or not a q-tip
Okay, we'll try it and see if it works. Hang on, just hang on with me. Look it, I have marks. Yay! Okay, cool. I'm going to drill those out. All right, cool. All right, guys. So what needs to happen here is, see, the two-door doesn't have a horn like the four-door. The four-door's got a nice little horn right about there, okay? So in order to, to make this work, you have to create your own horn, okay? Which is what we've done here. See, we've created our own horn right there, okay? When we've got holes in it, one inch apart, and that makes it all adjustable. So you can adjust for a two inch body lift or a three inch body lift or no body lift, okay? And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna take and measure between here and the other side, 29 inches. And you're gonna find the center and you're gonna mark that 29, where it's at, wherever it is, that 29 inch, okay? And, okay, so this is, this is what you wanna do. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand if I can, but this is gonna be kind of tough. But basically, what you wanna do is you wanna find your center point, okay? Now your center point is 29 inches on center, from this center point to this center point, 29 inches on center, okay? You want 29 inches, I can't repeat that enough, okay? So to get that, you're gonna measure in uh, two and three sixteenths of an inch, see them? Play with this in one hand. Two and three sixteenths from this edge to here. Two and three sixteenths. Same on this side. Two and three sixteenths. Okay. And that's going to run you pretty much almost dead center on these frame horns. Okay. The other reason that we're doing 29 inches on center is because that's the setup for the four door as well. The four door already has its horns. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to take your horn that you made because the two door doesn't have a horn. So you got to make a horn. That's, that's going to be your foundation. This is, this is really critical that you get this position correctly. Okay. And that's what these lines are. These just represent the outside dimensions of this. This is an inch and three quarters. Okay. This is an inch and three quarter uh, square tubing and it's eighth inch wall thickness. It's nice and strong. Okay. And we put holes in it so that you can adjust if, in case you want to add a body lift later, something like that. So you'd be able to adjust up to accommodate for that. Because remember your reference line, when you're installing these JL bumpers, your reference line is the bottom of your grill. That's where your reference line is. And that's where your, your bumper is going to uh, sit right underneath there. And that's going to determine the gap between your grill, your grill and your bumper. Okay. And so as you put a two inch body lift, which you go right here, or a three inch body lift, which you go right here, this should be able to give you, this is five inches right here. So you should be able to have three inches of travel in between there. And so we got the holes drilled. So this is going to go here and you want this right up to the top up here. All right. As close as you can to the top up here. Well, you see this finger moving? Yeah, that one right there. Because this is the strongest point, point that you're going to have to weld to. Because what you want to do is this really needs to be welded. You need to weld this. Okay. You know, I, uh, earlier or, or in other videos, we talked about this. You can bolt this, okay? You can bolt this. You can drill a hole, say here, and maybe here, an inch or so apart, and it'll drill through this shoulder or this, whatever you want to call it, the, the end of this frame right here. And um, actually, this is just a big support mount, and it just it just supports your fender and your grill and your cross members and those things, okay? But you can drill through it, okay? A couple of them. But if you can't go down here too low because you see the distance and you've got a slope, so you're not going to get a drill in the back of this. You're only going to be able to drill in from here. If you try to drill in from here, a lot of times because of that curve, you're, if you don't have a long, you know, uh, say a, a one eighth or three sixteenths bit that are reach over here, your, your bigger bits are just going to want to walk down. They're just going to walk down because this is slanted at an angle, even on the inside, and it's just going to slant down. You're not going to have good luck. So you really have to get those bolts right here in this space before you get to that curve or right when that's the beginning of the curve you could probably get it it'll probably grab right there and that's it that's all you're going to have for the bolts but you really need to to put a bead down each side one here and one here on this right here okay and that's and that's how you do it okay and you do it on both sides okay both sides at the exact same point and once you have that that's your reference and after that you're building from that 
but that is really critical. You got to get that in there and you got to get that right. Okay. I just, just want to show you that to, to uh, make sure that you understand it. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. So once you have your horn in position, okay, and it's bolted on or ideally welded on, okay, um, then you can put your extension on right here, this eight inch piece that we have right here. And then this is going to hook to the angle iron that's going to hook to your bumper. That's how you're going to mount your bumper. This needs to be welded to the front of your GeoTracker Suzuki Sidekick, your two door model, okay? 29 inches on center. That's where it needs to be, okay? You can't really variate from that, okay? So this is adjustable, okay? And what this is going to do is it's in a position right now that if you had a three inch body lift, this is a position it would be in right here. Okay. Let me give you a little bit more. If you have a three inch body lift, likely more than likely, this is a position you're going to go for. If you have a two inch body lift, you're going to drop down one hole. See, each hole is an inch. If you have no body lift, you're probably going to be down here on the bottom. Okay. No body lift. All right. So what we've done here or what we have not done is we have not drilled holes through here because that's going to be your final adjustment. And that's going to help you determine the gap between your grill and the top of your bumper right here. OK, so they have no there's no there's holes in, in your in, in this. OK, there's holes there, but not holes in your ears to your bumper. OK, all that fresh paint, all that fresh paint just getting gunked up. So anyway, I just painted it so it wouldn't rust. So it's not a big deal. It's not a showpiece. So, okay. So that's how it would go for you. Okay. So this is the first piece that goes on. That's got to go on the front of your tracker or, or sidekick, your two door model. Now for the four door model, everything is the same for the four door model, except this, this horn right here. This horn is already on the four door model or something similar to a horn is on there. Okay. And that's what you'll be able to use. And that you'll just drill and mount your your extension on there okay this is your frame we're going to call this a frame extension okay this is an extension of your frame that goes out and meets your bumper okay and it gives you room to mount a, a a winch on it so it extends your bumper a little bit forward of the grill so that you can mount a winch on your bumper okay no point in having a winch bumper if you don't have a winch on it oh look there's one right there with no winch on it i'll be down look at that oh anyway so anyway that's uh that's how this is going to go okay so I just wanted to see that to you. So now, all right. So once we got done with uh, the kit, making the kit, we got a hold of Dwayne in Kansas and um, told him that we were all done. So he, he went ahead and he ordered his bumper and we packaged everything up and shipped it out to him. Uh, so he was going to install it, you know, as soon as he got it, as soon as he got his bumper, he was going to install it, take some pictures for us and some video and stuff like that. Give us his opinion and his thoughts on it. Okay. And that's what we did next. Well, imagine our surprise when Dwayne took the bumpers off and sent me some of the early pictures and we could look and see. And it turns out that the 98 Geo Tracker has horns, just like the four door does. OK, so that kind of was a positive and a negative at the same time, because the negative side of it is we had made a horn for it because the two doors don't have a horn. But this 98 model apparently does. It made it easier because now Dwayne doesn't have to mess with the horn and he can install this bumper on his 98 just like you would on a four door. And that's what we did. Okay, so starting just uh, below the top, uh, Dwayne measured up four holes and made them one inch apart uh, on each other. That's what he did. And then what he did is he took and painted them with a coat of paint to seal it up and stuff, make it look good, protect it from rust. And then what he did is he put the extensions on and he mounted the extensions in the bottom holes, the bottom two holes, because he does not have a body lift. If he had a body lift, he could have went with uh, holes above that. Okay. And then when he was done is he positioned his bumper, marked it up, made sure he had the correct spacing between his grill and the bumper like he wanted to. And then he went underneath the bumper, marked his holes, drilled it and put his bolts through. OK, after he got his bolts through, his, bolt, his bumper was bolted on in position. He applied a coat of paint to the bumper or to the grill and then mounted the grill back onto his vehicle. And then you're all done. Look at that beautiful job that he did and mounted his bumper. Cool.
Well, all right. Big, big shout out to Dwayne Perry out of Kansas for doing such a bang up job of Mountain's JL bumper on his 98 Geo Tracker. We're going to list a bunch of his uh, contact information in the description in case you want to get a hold of him and ask him any questions about anything. And uh, on behalf of Tough Trails, just a big, big thank you, Dwayne, for doing such a bang up job. And to close out this video, uh, we're going to take another closer look at the 98 Geo Tracker uh, that belongs to Dwayne Perry out of Kansas. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. appreciate you watching our programs and thank you